Hello and welcome to Little Sue and welcome to Christmas in July day 10. Um, now for this one I have decided to go with Papercraft Inspiration 171. Now does this one have a date on it? Yes it does. Oh so there we go. December 2017. Now, this was the front of the magazine itself. And if I remember right, there wasn't a lot of inspiration on how to actually use the gift. Because it was an embossing folder and the stamp set. Now, this was one of the stamp sets that I did take on holiday with me. Uh, I just took the stamps itself and not the whole thing. And I did stamp them out and coloured them in. Now, I've only managed to make one card because my craft room is an absolute mess. I've been dumping everything that I can possibly think of in here. So I was trying to like clear a space so that I could actually do this and then realised it was four o'clock by the time I got round to actually doing this. So we are... Oh, right. So I have, I've got one card completely done and that is this card right here. And I'm not sure if it'll come up. So this is a pearlescent red. Now I did have this one pre-done before. This was one of my tester ones that was in the back of here. And just because I really like the pearlescent like brick red type thing. I've gone over it with some distress inks and the black soot. Just to bring it out a wee bit. Uh, I went along the bricks as well as the Merry Christmas. And this was Santa and one of the reindeers having a, a drink. You can see the glass down here. And he's got his bell up above him as well. And I did, I coloured these in in just um, pencils. Now, it was a set of watercolour pencils. I was tempted to try the watercolour part in them, but I changed my mind and just coloured them in in pencil. I do have a second set of this stamp done um and i wanted to use my alcohol markers but i didn't take them with me so just the coloring pencils but i absolutely love the santa one santa one's absolutely gorgeous i love this now i did do two pearlescent ones um now this is still wet quite a bit and it's sort of distorted what the pearlescent part quite a bit as well now this one i am going to leave plain and this was the little boy and the little girl and the dog watching out the window for santa and when it's done it will just go flat on the card like that once it's actually dry should i say the next pearlescent one, now this was a white pearlescent again and I have gone over it with the, was it fire brick? Uh, yes, a little distressed fire brick, oops. There we go, so I did that with the red and then I did use a green which I don't know where it is just to put on the little Christmas tree um I do actually really like using my distress inks forgot about them because they get put away and I forget so that one I'll get the Christmas tree with the fireplace on it now the last one was sort of a tester because I thought it would look nice if I did a sort of mirror red now it does look better uh, in person I'm not sure how well it's coming out in the camera 
but Merry Christmas and the actual bricks look really nice and for this one I decided to go with the little grey cat and the Christmas tree in the background for that one oops not sure I'm going to get all of them in move that up a wee bit So that is my four cards using Papercraft Inspiration 171 for my Christmas in July, day number 10. Now, I'll probably be much later on tonight before I can get these glued down just because the water, when I sprayed it, I think I sprayed far too much. And obviously it stays on the embossing folder as well and I sprayed again. And then put it in the embossing folder again and it just like yeah far too much water so i need to wait for these three to dry but this one is glued down just a plain simple card now this embossing folder was slightly smaller than the five by seven card bases oops just get my ruler that is a plastic tub that I have sat to the side that I have dumped everything in. So the embossing folder itself is... What's that? One eighth, four and one eighth by... Um, wait a minute. I think that's five and seven eighths. So yeah, a lot smaller than a five by seven card that I realised. But it's worked for me. I've just I've just used my five by seven cards and then cut them down to give me a nice white border around around it for them. So thank you so so much for watching. Um I'm not sure if anybody will have this one because it is so old or if you've passed it on. But let me know down in the description boxes if you did use this one and how you got on with it. What type of ideas did you come up with? Now one of the inspirations is to cut the inside of this out and put the actual stamp inside. Or to stamp onto plain white card and then emboss it. I couldn't do that, that's way too hard for me. So I did literally stamp the images and then colour them in and then cut them out so that I could put them in the middle. <laughs> easier for me. A lot more work, but it's easier for me. So thank you again everybody for watching and I will see you hopefully all again tomorrow for another Christmas in July because I am not working until Tuesday and Wednesday next week. And then I am off until... Sunday. So I will see you all again tomorrow for another Christmas in July. Bye!